If you're a golfer looking for an easy way to add club head speed and carry distance to your drives, you need to know about these force pedals. It's ridiculous to say, but in less than two weeks, I've added almost 10 yards using them. So if you saw my video from a couple of weeks ago, you'd have seen my progress with the super speed sticks. I was reviewing the six weeks worth of work that I'd done really impressed with them, how I'd gone from averaging 93 miles an hour club head speed to 20 yards carry all the way up to 100 miles an hour club head speed, 242 yards carry. Right at the end of that video, I introduced the force pedals and said how I was gonna be starting to train with the force pedals alongside the super speed sticks and how it was to help me use ground force into my golf swing to try and find a bit of extra club head speed. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to be making this video or at least making it so soon, but the results have really surprised me. The best way I can think to describe it will be like getting dragged into a golfing computer game and all of a sudden finding a secret door to a whole new level. All right, so jokes aside, I've been using these force pedals now for just under two weeks. And in that time, I've combined it in with my super speed training, but done nothing else. There's no new drivers, there's no technical changes, anything like that. And it's still training at home. So Sydney's come out of the lockdown, but most of my stuff is in between work, is in between kids. And in that time, I've seen that my club head speed has gone up two miles per hour. My ball speed is up four miles an hour and my carry distance is up close to 10 yards. And that's literally doing just the same super speed training and adding in these the force pedals to me that's crazy distance to add in that space of time so I picked up my force pedals online from the golf performance store here in Australia I'll put a link below the video to where I got them from I think I paid somewhere around $80 Australian for them and you just get two in the pack there is I have seen uh, mini versions of these as well now I don't own those so at some stage I'm curious whether I need to transfer over to those, whether there's something extra to gain from those. Basically, I'm a time poor golfer. Probably like many of you out there, I've got another job, I've got wife, kids, general life stuff. And so what motivates me is what can I do for my golf that's gonna get me the most efficient results, gonna get me the biggest improvements in the shortest space of time. If that's something that interests you, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel, jump down, turn on the bell notification, that way you can keep up to date with the videos. But that's why these pedals appeal to me. Like with the super speed sticks, something that I can be doing here in my garden, between work, between golf, that's hopefully gonna improve my game when I get to the course. At the outset, I'm no expert in ground force in the golf swing. So if you're a coach out there that knows a lot more about this and I butcher it, I'm really sorry. What I'm gonna do though is tell you what I've found in this product, what I've felt and how I find that it's helped me because hopefully that's gonna help someone else out there. Okay, so like I said, you get the yellow and the orange force pedals in the pack. These are the larger ones. There's a whole protocol that Super Speed Sticks and Force Pedal have released that shows you how to mix this in with the training that you're doing and how to use these. I'll be straight up. The first couple of sessions I had with them just here at home, I found them a bit daunting. They're a bit strange to get used to in terms of all the forces that you're feeling, but I figured that's kind of what the point is, is trying to help you understand what you should be feeling. One word of advice for me is I wouldn't personally jump straight into hitting golf balls whilst you're using these. I know that's in the protocol. It just take a little bit of time to get used to the feeling of having these under the your feet whilst hitting them. So I'd just be a little bit careful. I'd get used to them first and then work in using the golf ball. But what these sort of talk about, just my understanding, but it's trying to give you a sense of what you should be feeling in, the sw in your swing. And if you look into a lot of content about how the top golfers hit the ball further, they'll talk about using the ground for force. I never really got my head around that before and I couldn't really grasp what you were meant to be feeling. You know, when I was thinking about you know loading up on the back, I tend to think I was swaying a bit too much in the back, which isn't what it's really about. And then when it's talking about trying to come up from the ground, I think I, I would have been doing it in the wrong time. It wouldn't have sequenced well into my swing. And so that's why these come into play and I've found them to be really effective. You have them on the ground. And again, there's different drills, but you've basically got the front one that goes under the ball of your foot, the back, back one under the heel of your foot, and as you're swinging, it helps you feel where you should be feeling the load. So as you're coming back, you can feel it loading up in your back leg. And then when you're top of the swing, this is where I feel like I've got to with it. You need to feel that push. So you want to push on the front one. And in doing that, the force comes back up into you and you pop up into it. Again, like I said, I might be butchering the explanations, but this is just what I've felt. The other thing that I've felt is that really it's less about the movement side to side and really as you as you're turning back it's almost like you're pulling 
your, your hip back. This is what it feels like to me. In doing that, it feels like you're loading up on your heel at the back of your leg. It feels to me like you're in a nice position. And then like I said, you really want to stomp down into that front one before you really even starting to come down. And in doing that, you feel the force come back up, which sort of pops you up like that. And that's really then when you building it in, it's just helping you with the sequence. You do this, you follow their exercises of different ideas that they give you different things to do, and then start to build that into hitting shots. As a classic golfer, I'll find myself, you know, in the supermarkets, doing the shops, picking the kids up from daycare. You sort of catch yourself doing the golfing movements, your golfing swings. I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that does that. But really quickly in the first week or so, starting to let me work on fields that I actually hadn't done before. It took me daft, it took me a little bit of time to realize that I was working on these new feels in my legs, in how I load up, based on the fact that I have these force pedals. And something as simple as they are is giving me that feedback and letting me understand what I'm meant to be feeling. So as basic as they look, I really do rate these and I've found straight away really big improvements using them. In terms of how I got my results, well, I've been using them, like I've said a couple of times now, I've been using them for just under two weeks, really going through the drills and trying to get those feelings. I felt like I was starting to get the hang of it, so I jumped into the net in the garden and I've hit 27 balls with the driver. Why 27? There's no real reason for that. I think I meant to hit 20, but I got carried away because I was enjoying it. I lost count. Why do I do it in the net? Well, if you've been following my other videos, and I'll make sure I place a link, I was doing a lot of this in the lockdown in Sydney and so I thought for consistency, I've done all my other speed training, I got my initial distances, I got my six week distances, all of those type of things with the PRGR launch monitor in the net in my garden. So I thought just to keep things exactly the same and fair, that's where I would carry on with this. What I've found, I've added to my club head speed approximately two miles per hour, my ball speed four miles per hour, and this has resulted in just under 10 yards of carry extra. I was originally blown away by the super speed sticks. Couldn't believe that something so simple and easy to follow could make such a big difference. Building in these force pedals has just taken it to the next level. And this is in just a short space of time. So I'm really interested to see whether this actually goes a lot further. But initially, in the period of time that I've been testing, crazy. I've never found anything that has given these kind of results in such a simple way, in such a short space of time, just doing it from home. The combination of the super speed sticks and the force pedals, for me, is taking it next level. Really curious to see where it can go to from here. As I said, I do have some questions. I said originally, I've got the larger version force pedals. I don't have the minis. I don't know what impact that will cause. I don't know if I need to get them. If having the smaller ones, I don't know if there's a different level of force and at some point you need to build that in. Equally, I've been doing it for a short space of time. Do the results get better? Do you zip down? Do you plateau? And will every golfer see the same results? Well, I'd love to know. So if you're a golfer out there that's watching this and you've tried the force pedals, it'd be great if you just jump down into the comments and let me know how you've gone. If this is the type of content that you're interested in and you'd like to know how I go over the next few weeks, what I see, if I hit it further, make sure you let me know again in the comments. I'm more than happy to release another video in a few weeks to tell you where I've got to. For everyone that's interested in swing speed, uh, like I am, getting more from your game with the minimum effort and time allowances, make sure you jump over and watch the video that I'll put up a link to. This was my Speed 6 journey so far. Really encourage everyone to take a look. And also, if it's the sort of thing that you're interested in doing in your own game, get yourself some speed sticks, get yourself the force pedals. I don't think you'll go wrong. I highly recommend them.